Got a minute? Hi, I'm Yvonne Perry, Artistic Associate at Capitol Repertory Theater in Albany, New York, with another hint on how to sharpen the tools in your actor toolbox during this working downtime. And today, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about your reel. Now, actor reels used to be used primarily for on-camera work, but they are increasingly being accessed by casting for theater productions as well. Why? Well, sometimes a role needs to be recast so quickly that another in-person casting session just isn't feasible. Sometimes an actor that a director may be interested in is working on a show out of town. Basically, your reel can be the first stop for casting before requesting a self-tape. Now, what should you put on a reel geared toward theatrical roles? Well, for that, I went to our own artistic director, Maggie Mancinelli Cahill, and she suggested that appropriate material could be footage from self-tape auditions for other shows or footage from actual production of a show that's on your resume. And I know what you're thinking. Well, I mean, footage of theatrical product productions can be difficult to watch. But remember that um, they're not looking at the quality of the recording so much as the quality of the production values of the show that you were in. And you can even add clips of press interviews and some of your best TV and film work. Get creative here because personality counts a lot too. Just remember the magic rule for actor reels because it applies here as well. Keep it short. Two to five minutes is fine. Quality over quantity. Well, that's it for this week's Got a Minute. I'm Yvonne Perry and I'll see you virtually again soon.